And just a few seconds later, we got not only one, but two accepted shares. We have officially mined Monero on a smartphone. The last video I did on the Varus mining application did so well that it made me feel like phone farming might be back, at least for me. Anyways, so there is another application that you can download to mine cryptocurrency on your phone. This time it's gonna be Monero and the application is XMR Rig. So we're gonna download that. I'm gonna show you how to set everything up. And of course, we're gonna check out the price of Monero and talk about the profitability of mining cryptocurrencies on your phone in general, plus so much more. I'm your host, Tech Hustler. Oakley Dokley, welcome to another video. And if it's your first time here, my name's Tech Hustler. We mine cryptocurrency here and we go over the latest crypto projects and even review websites and applications that you can start using right now to make a little bit of crypto on the side so if you like that go ahead and smash that subscribe button and while you're down there hit that like button too that's the number one thing you can do to support my channel and as always i have to let you know that i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is for educational and entertainment purposes only as of the recording date of today's video, which is June 9th, 2023, the current price of Monero, and that's going to be XMR on the ticker, is sitting at $142.74. And over the last 24 hours, really not doing a whole lot, but we are down from that all-time high, down over 70%. That all-time high was $517.62. That was two years ago on May 7th, 2021. Now, as always, in the comments down below, do you think we will reach this all-time high again? Do you think we will surpass it in the next bull market? Or do you think we will never see those all-time highs again? Let me know in the comments down below. And here's the application we're going to be installing on our phone. It is XMR Rig for Android. Now, this is a legit crypto miner. It is going to use the CPU in your smartphone to mine Monero. And that's why it's only available for Android because iOS would never allow anything like that. Now, quick disclaimer, you know, we are down 70% from those all time highs. So as far as profitability goes, mining Monero, it's only going to be a couple of pennies. But just like everything else, we're just going to hold our coins and keep our fingers crossed that we hit those all time highs and surpass them. Now, I will say it's probably going to be a little bit more profitable to mine various coins so something you might want to consider and i would also consider running like other money making apps as well and i'll have a few listed in the description down below real fast i just want to give some credit where credit is due if it wasn't for new england crypto and yes i am a subscriber I wouldn't have found out about this uh, XMR rig application. So if it wasn't for New England crypto, we wouldn't have this video today. So I highly recommend you go over there and subscribe. I know we can get him to at least 2000 subscribers. Just watch one of his videos. You know, he does uh, the mobile mining still. He still does apps. And I'm not going to lie. He's um, creating a little fire in my belly and um, I think he's the reason that I want to rebuild this phone farm and see if we can find some profitable applications, um, some new stuff that maybe pays out on PayPal, of course crypto as always, and of course the mining application. So go over there, throw him a subscribe, trust me you're going to love his videos. He's different than everyone else. And that's what I like. Oakley Doakley. So not only am I going to support New England crypto by watching his videos, by commenting on his videos, by liking his videos, but because I found this app through him, 
I'm gonna use his settings and I'm gonna use this phone and mine to him for a little while at least and maybe show him some love and mine to, mine to his account for a couple hours like I'm gonna do. So anyways, here is the application and um, first thing we're gonna do is go to settings. We're gonna create a configuration profile. So I hit those bars right there in the menu. Add configuration. Let's go ahead and name it. Now there's presets in here or you can go advanced. I'm a simple kind of guy. So we're gonna go with a simple mode. Let me go ahead and name it real fast. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna add that. And now's the time we're gonna configure it. So go ahead and hit simple or whatever you want to name it. Now right here, there is original or Monero Ocean. You can see what's going on there. I'm gonna stick with original because that's what New England Crypto did. Now let's enter that host name. He's using, what is he using? DX Pool. So um, check out his, actually everyone needs to watch this video and if you wanna use DX Pool, use his referral. Now let's go ahead and enter this host name and bear with me, you know, uh, I got a lot of lights <laughs> up in my face right here. So XMR, XMR dot SS dot DX pool dot com. And let's double check that XMR, but it being, you know what, let's just in case, let's get rid of that. There we go. And it's going to be port 5555, <clears throat> excuse me, username, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and capitalize that, NE Crypto, and dot, we're going to do XMRTH for Tech Hustler. That way he can see the hash rates coming from me. And password, I think it's gonna be X. I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that's gonna work. So anyways, let me make sure. Yep, all that looks good. CPU. Now you can go auto, you can go fast. I'm gonna go light. And um, let's go ahead, let's take, I don't wanna use up everything. Let's go with 50%. And here's all the algorithms for the algorithm switching. And I think that is everything that should work. Let's go ahead and save everything. So we're gonna click the menu button up here. Save changes. Oakley Doakley, I, I think we're ready to mine. That should be it. So let's go over here to miner. And um, let's just go ahead and click that start button. And ooh, oh, let's select that configuration first simple did that did that work all right so i think we're mining we're just gonna sit here and wait a couple seconds so uh i guess you'll wait along with me i'll give it a couple more seconds and then i'll check the log to see if we did anything wrong Boom. Might take a second for the log to come up because the CPUs are being used right now. There we go. I really don't want this screen record to go too long because this CPU is be all right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Disabled by config threads. All right, we are mining. We don't have anything accepted yet. Let's go back here to the miner. See if we have any hash rate. And there we go. We have some hash rate. So sitting at 46.50 hashes right now. Okay, 
but I don't see any accepted shares just quite yet. So I'm just gonna stop recording for a second and come back when we have some accepted shares. And just a few seconds later, we got not only one, but two accepted shares. We have officially mined Monero on a smartphone. So that's pretty much gonna do it for mining Monero on your Android phone. Now, last week we covered mining Varus on your Android. Today we did Monero and next week we're gonna cover another cryptocurrency, another real crypto mining app, you guessed it, for Android. So hit that bell so you don't miss that upload. Other than that, my name's Tech Hustler. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy mining. Peace.